Last week, my buddy Xander and I attempted to take this old girl out ice camping and to say it was a gong show would be an understatement. It was slushy, we got her stuck, we ended up blowing a belt, nothing was going right. Against my best judgment and my girlfriend Joelle's wishes, I'm gonna try to take her out again. All right, first pull, come on. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Love you. beautiful place this is all alone out here it's just unreal plan's gonna be to drill a bunch of holes here um, and look for fish that way we can set up camp on a, on a productive spot hopefully for about 40 feet here um, where we first started drilling was about 25 and it went to 23 then 20 um, now we're looking around the back side of this hump at 28 feet so I'm gonna drop the middle down right now just hooking them through the back like I typically do and drop them right down it's starting to get pretty cold the wind's picking up and just all my gear is freezing so I'm gonna get the camp set up here I don't feel great about this spot but it's just too cold to keep searching so we'll get situated in the hut Get organized and yeah. Home sweet home. Finally marking some fish here. Trying to get the freaking tent set up. Oh, here we go. Here, come on. Oh, what a good mark. Come on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Marking fish. That was fun. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Got something going on here. Oh yeah. Of course, as soon as I take my freaking snowsuit off. It doesn't feel big. A little winter. Beautiful. Oh man, that is a tiny one. Not much, but good little eater anyways. Beauty. It might seem strange to keep a fish of this size, but lake trout are very, they're a very slow growing fish. So when you're catching a fish of you know, any decent caliber, it's pretty old. Think about all the mercury that those fish have in their flesh. In my experience, these little guys make the best table fare. This is my negative uh, seven Celsius. It's actually a double sleeping bag. So it's meant for two people. It kind of zips together, but it can also be zipped into two separate bags. And what I've done is I've just um, put the smaller portion of it inside. Just kind of double bagging it tonight. So I don't know what it is rated for when you do that. I'm guessing probably close to 20 below. But that being said, it's not gonna get nearly that cold in the hut tonight. I'm not even sure what it's going to be outside, but...
definitely another slowdown in the action. Um, so started thinking about dinner and uh, didn't bring any water because I'm an idiot. And I'm gonna boil down some snow here. Enjoy a little tea action. And yeah, just keep watching that sonar for anything that comes in. Sun is just going down over there. Had some fish come in here and there. Um, happy we landed the one. Size doesn't matter in this case. Better than a skunk. And uh, yeah, sort of thing about dinner. I don't know if we're gonna cook that fish tonight, but definitely got some craft uh, dinner on the menu. Not about the white cheddar. Figure it out. Oh yeah. It's perfect every time. White cheddar, man, I tell you. It's different. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Whew. We got nine thirty two on the clock. Still no signs of any burbs. I'm pretty sleepy here. I think uh, what I'm gonna do is just set an alarm every couple hours and check their odds. I was hoping to get one by, by now, but sometimes you, they don't start biting until two in the morning, so. It is what it is. All right, good night guys. Good morning. It's really cold. I ended up going down to... I don't even know. It's like minus 32 actual temperature right now. I think that's definitely the coldest I've ever camped out in. I didn't know it was gonna, gonna be that cold. Probably would have just uh, gone home if I had known. Holy smokes. It's so cold that even with the heater on high, just it's it's sucking all the heat out of this out of my out of my tent and uh, it's just not it's not it's not it's not holding any heat. So I moved the heater right close to me, so it's been keeping me warm. I stayed warm. Not a big deal, but... But yeah, holy... No fish. No freaking fish either. I'm up. Ran out of propane in the middle of the night. My big tank, that is. Luckily, I brought two one-pound backups just in case. And I'm currently on the second one of those. <laughs> when it's this cold, it's you just burn through propane. You have to have the heater on so high. And still no heat is retained really <coughs> in here. It's brutal, man. It's just cold. <laughs> Damn, boy. That's all right. All right. 
Wants more, wants more. Come on. Come on. Oh, no way. First fish of the morning. He might give us a second chance. He hit. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Didn't take long this morning. Makes up for the lack of fish overnight, I guess. Oh, he's right there. Oh, wow, that's a beauty. Oh my God, that is a black lake trout. What a freaking gem. Whew. Wow, that's a nice fish. Check this guy out. That is just black. I've never seen one quite that dark. Look at that head, such a nice fish. That's so cool. Wow, thank you, buddy. What a beautiful fish. Requires a little bit more work than your instant coffee, but it's so much better. It's it's worth it. Can't help but picture myself in the middle of uh, you know some provincial park in the summer, enjoying one of these on a warm morning, blue skies, open water. It's hard to imagine right now in the middle of February, minus thirty outside, but. It's not that far away. This trip might not have gone exactly how I wrote it up, but hey, at the end of the day, we're still taking home two beauty lake trout, and that's always a success in my eyes. Just gotta quickly break down camp, pack my sled, and uh, get the hell out of Dodge. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you back out here soon. Come on, baby. I know you're probably pretty cold, Give you a drink first. You got this. Oh, cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Third time's a charm. Oh, yeah. Hey.